Last week on our sister show, Oklahoma Gardening, viewers went to the farmer's market. Well, this week we continue that story with a look at a peanut producer who went in search of alternative markets just to stay in business. Sometimes Austin Moore has their story. This is where we sell the peanuts, get them ready, start packaging to deliver to grocery stores. Lloyd Lassley and his family have been growing Oklahoma peanuts since the days of Dust Bowl and Depression. Well, my granddad started raising peanuts in 1936, and then he started raising foundation seed for the Oklahoma Foundation Seed Stock in 1936. Now there was a change for y'all a while back, I guess the farm bill change, and that's where you got into the direct marketing where you needed to change your operation. Tell me a little about that. Okay, it, it was back uh, in the 2001 when the farm program changed, they did away with the quota system. Uh, I would see how much peanuts were selling at some grocery stores, and I thought I could deliver a, a better product at a more reasonable price to the consumer. So I went to the health department worked with them, went to the Food and Ag Product Center, went through some basic training with them, and uh, got our plan approved and put in a certified packaging room or a certified kitchen and started processing the peanuts that way. And the business continued to evolve. First selling just raw and roasted peanuts, it wasn't long before Lloyd's mother began adding candy peanuts to the family's product lineup. It looks done, but I can tell by the peanuts that it isn't. About the time I think I have it figured out, I need to figure something else out. <laughs> the weather plays a part in it. So what is your most popular item now? Probably the roasted and peanut brittle. Okay. Don't you Nothing think? like the classics. Mm -hmm. Now you're direct marketing everything you do. This isn't all, yeah. None of this goes to distributors. This is... No. That's yeah. right. We market uh, mainly directly to some grocery stores with the raw products uh, in the produce section. And then we process our own for roasting, making candy that we sell at the farmer's market and that we also mail order, ship everywhere. So, Devona, if someone's going to make a change like this, something so dramatic is going from uh, traditional sales through a co-op and so on to direct sales to a client, what, what kind of challenges does that face in terms of just making the change in the first place. Yeah, there are a lot of things to think about, and I think uh, you think about both what's happening externally and then what's happening within the business and what your strengths and weaknesses are there. Mm -hmm. So, the, and thinking about what's happening externally, you need to learn as much as you can about that. And so, talk to lots of people. Mm -hmm. Uh, even if it's not your specific product, there may be people who've learned from experience so you can avoid their mistakes in going down a similar path for a, a different product. Um, it probably means stretching your comfort zone, so reading beyond things, talking to people that maybe you no, don't normally do because you've got to broaden your horizons to understand that outside market. Right. Um, and thinking about your business internally, you need to understand what kind of financial position you're in to know what kinds of risk you can take. Um, you have to understand not only the people that you have, but what they're willing to do, what their skills are, whether they're willing to learn new kinds of skills, and also know about your physical resources, so what your land capability is, um, if you need new machinery and equipment, those sorts of things. You're saying it's basically about understanding your own strengths and weaknesses? Sure. Yeah, and not just your personal ones, but those of the other people that you're working in, in business with. So you don't have to do everything yourself. Uh, you can uh, rely on other people, and it's certainly important to, to talk to other people. Mm -hmm. and, and skills can be learned, and so if people are willing to change and adapt, there are lots of things you can do differently. But despite the challenges, for this Oklahoma family, the choice was simple. Now, if you tried to stay doing things as you had before that, that farm bill change, yeah. Would you be it, doing this now? No, uh, probably wouldn't. Uh, we more or less focused on seed production at that time for the foundation seed. Okay. And so this was a way that we continue to maybe increase, replace that lost income that we had. And yet you're still making the same product your grandfather made. Yes, that granddad started. We're trying to uh, improve on that and keep it going. Mm -hmm.